Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for the weekly update. A few things today. First of all, the schedule for this week should be fine. Um, I say should because on Monday and, or Monday, Tuesday, two days of this week, one of them being Friday, the other possibly being Monday or Tuesday, um, I'm getting the uh, crowns hopefully put on my teeth, uh, the two root canals I had a couple weeks ago. Um, that's pending them not needing to do any further because when I went in for the consult for the crowns uh, last two weeks ago, at a point in the past, uh, they said that the, the uh, root canals themselves were like really low down on the teeth. They were like below the gum line at that point. So they were going to try to still put the the crowns on, but they may have to do some uh, gum uh, <laughs> gum magic. Uh, they might have to uh, to move the gums out of the way or or lower them or something. It, it sounded like it was going to be messy, so hopefully it's not going to be messy. But um, given just the way things go with me, I'm going to assume that it's messy. Uh, I'm going to try my best to have you know all the videos and stuff done for this week. I don't have anything recorded as of yet because uh, last week was a mess, but I should have everything should be fine. Okay, so uh, as for streams, I'm sorry there were no streams last week. It was a weird week. We just had to work around it. Uh, so this week streams should be normal, uh, Vesperia and Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. And yeah, that's it pretty much for the updates. Last week was, you know, uh, normal videos went up in the latter half of last week. We did bunch of fun stuff in Final Fantasy 7 and Twilight Princess. Uh, I did a uh, first impressions for the Cadence If I Rule game that came out on Thursday. Thursday? Thursday. Uh, it's really good. I'm like, I, I'm like halfway through it maybe. I played a lot of it. I played a lot of it. It's really fun. Uh, I started off really bad. I got a lot better than in the first impressions. Let me tell you, once you get that spear, which has a range of two <laughs> it's like a game changer it's like a game changer um i just want to play something for you oh i just want to play something for you so i get a lot of spam calls on my phone right now the what usually happens is that i let it go and it goes to voicemail and it plays my voicemail message. You know, you've reached Dovi, uh, leave a message after the tone or whatever. But when a like a a, uh, a recorded call comes up, it automatically plays its message as soon as whatever picks up. Meaning it starts going as soon as your message starts. And so it only records the tail end of whatever it is. So this is a voicemail that I got last week. One saved message. Saved message. Goodbye from Yahoo. Yahoo! To replay this message, press one. That's it. That's all it was. I just, it's like the middle of the night. I get a voicemail. I answer my phone. I listen to the message. Goodbye from Yahoo. Yahoo! I just... What? Oh, it was great. Mm. So I'm just gonna save that message. I don't want to delete it. It's so perfect. Um, there is context to it, but it, it wouldn't be funny to give it to you. Um, it, it was a spam call, though. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, E3 happened last week, obviously. Uh, I have notes, but we're going to go over that at the end of the video in case people are still waiting to see stuff for themselves or they just don't want to hear it. 
Uh, last Thursday, I went into New York City with uh, Secret Fury and Without Yogurt, uh, Ed and Hooli. And uh, we had a grand old time. Um, I, uh, I schlepped them around all over the place. Made them walk a lot. Got them lost. We found every single Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts by accident. And lots of stairs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's amazing they're still talking to me. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, they have they both have the patience of saints. Uh, but we went to the uh, the Nintendo World store and uh, the M and M's and Hershey stores and uh, just kind of went around Times Square and stuff. It was really fun. But uh, at the Nintendo World store, I got this shirt where everyone comes to play. It's like really nice. It's like the same quality as the Throne Controller shirt that I have. It's just really really nice. Um, actually, do I have that shirt somewhere over here? Let me see if it, it's probably cotton. I would assume that this is cotton. It's inside out. I don't know where the top of the shirt is because it doesn't exist. There it is. Mostly cotton. This might be mostly cotton or entirely cotton. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's really nice. It has somewhere. I don't know. Maybe on the back. Yeah, on the back it's like Nintendo and has a thingy but yeah I like shirts like this this isn't like they had a lot of really fancy loud shirts and those are cool too there was a tingle one with like tingles face and a heart <laughs> um, I like shirts like this that are just I don't know if it's retro or um, it's more low-key I don't know it's it's like this is this is the You've seen it before. This is the hat I wear. It's it's a like a, a brownish green hat with like old style Mickey Mouse, and it's kind of worn. That's I don't know. I, I enjoy I enjoy wearing clothing like that. Um, low key. I don't know. Simple, but like you know it's Nintendo. You know that kind of thing. Um, I also I bought a shirt at, at Disney that had the same thing. It's just that Mickey Mouse there. But anyway, uh, so it was really fun. It was a cool store. I got to see um, a whole bunch of the games. We went on Thursday, so it was the last day of E3. So they had like a whole bunch of booths with like Luigi's Mansion 3 and, and Link's Awakening and, and all that fun stuff. And I got to see like all the games being played. And I was really excited for Link's Awakening. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 actually looks pretty nice too from what I was seeing the people playing. Um... The, uh, I got, obviously, as you can see here, I got myself a little, little Mari. She can sit. But, uh, yeah, it's, she's adorable. Uh, they did not have dolls. They all, actually only had dolls of Callie and Mari and, uh, like, the squids, the Inklings. Uh, there are no Octoling plushes or, uh, Pearl or Marina, and I was very upset. Um, I also got myself... A boo, because he's adorable. Also, his ow. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's actually all I got at the store. Uh, Fury got a lot of stuff and a lot of gifts for people. It was really, really nice. Um, yeah, but the the store itself is really cool, and they're playing like you know, video game music, obviously from like all their franchises. I posted a whole bunch of pictures on Twitter. I didn't take any vlogs of the New York trip just because I kind of wanted to enjoy it at the moment. But I did take a lot of pictures, and those are on Twitter, so you can see the pictures on Twitter. Um, but uh, at the Hershey uh, store, you can get like custom designed Hershey bars. Like it's a Hershey bar, like a, a large size Hershey bar, and um, you can like print out a, a wrapper for it as like a gift thing. And you can put a, you could take a picture there and put it on it. So, so we like, we took pictures. So, <laughs> we took stupid pictures because that's what you do when you're pretending to be a teenager. You take stupid pictures and put stupid captions. I, I put both those captions. But it's Hooli's birthday coming up this week. Happy birthday! Um, so, uh, those are like birthday presents. Um, so yeah. Good times, good times. Uh, and yeah, it was just a fun trip all around. 
It's just, it's nice to spend time with people. And it's nice to spend time with people I do not normally see often. And it's nice to spend time with nice people that I don't normally see often. So it's just like a compounded effect of niceness. Um, and yeah, there was some art this past week, but it's related to the directs. Uh, but it wasn't like anything special. One of them just was one of a Pokemon person. And so you can see that on Twitter too. Um, but... Yeah, let's talk about E3. I got my notes. If you're not here for the E3, that's awesome. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time if you are here for the E3. Uh, I obviously was not around. We talked about this. I was not around for most of the conferences, so I rewatched them and just took sparse notes on whatever caught my eye. The only one I really caught was the end of Square Enix and Nintendo's. So, um, let's see. Ubisoft's thing was just like their usual stuff. They have Just Dance coming up again, of course. Uh, it's still on for the Wii, which is pretty cool. Uh, I heard that it's like used in, in like for physical therapy and stuff. So that's actually really, like really nice. It just like gets people to move the Wii version specifically. So that's actually really nice. Um, the Devolver Digital, <laughs> um, I forgot what they called it this year, conference was interesting, the continuation of the Devolver Cinematic Universe. This time it was like half Robocop, half Terminator, it was very interesting. Uh, it was mostly making fun of the idea of the Nintendo Directs, and it was pretty spot on. Um, there was like, they made a whole bunch of bootleg versions of, of Devolver titles, which was interesting i have to actually buy that because i want to play enter the gun dungeon and hotline milwaukee uh they also made a house of the gun dead which was an arcade cabinet like with light guns of enter the gungeon and i want it but it's five thousand dollars despite what i said on twitter that it was five dollars it's five thousand dollars and i cannot afford that i'm sorry dovey um bethesda had a conference where they showed off pretty much the usual stuff, nothing on the, the new um, Skyrim or the Space Skyrim. Um, they are reviving Commander Keen. You know, Commander Keen, I did a couple of Let's Plays of that on my channel, episodes 4 and 5, you should watch that because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Except this is a mobile game, a free-to-play mobile game that has absolutely nothing to do with the original Commander Keen license, except for a vague look. I keep getting ads for it. I was trying to make it look like a Saturday morning cartoon from like the 80s, and uh, every time I see the ads, I die a little inside. It's, it's not, it's gonna be a cash grab and it's not gonna be good. Uh, let's see, the Wolfenstein's next thingy comes out July 26th, I'm excited for that, it has co-op, but I just, I enjoy like the current Wolfenstein games in general, I've played both of them so far, so good times. Um, I took more notes on uh, Xbox, let's see, things that caught my eye, Outer Worlds, uh, which is that, uh, the Obsidian game, right? Looks pretty fun. Uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, uh... They have like a Minecraft Dungeons game, which is like a Diablo-like Minecraft game, which is interesting. Uh, show off more of the Star Wars, Cyberpunk 2077, featuring Keanu Reeves, um, and, uh, your breathtaking. Uh, they showed off a little bit of the new Battletoads. Forza is getting a Lego update, which is just weird. Um, a new Tales game, Tales of Arise which looks interesting. Um, Project Scarlet, which should have been called the next box. Come on, it's right there. Uh, it's their next console. And uh, sounds, they used a lot of jargon. So it sounds pretty, pretty cool. Uh, also, I love how they keep innovating their controllers. Like, non-sarcastically. I love how the Xbox controller is like horrifically customizable. And they keep on like making things to like super fine tune it. Like that's really nice for accessibility. Um, also, the new Halo we saw a trailer for. So good times all around. 
Uh, finally, Nintendo. Nintendo, Nintendo. Started off with Smash Bros. The next Smash Bros. fighter is going to be the hero from Dragon Quest XI. Also, the hero from Dragon Quest VII. Also, the hero from Dragon Quest IV or V? IV? Also, the hero from Dragon Quest I or III. I'm not sure which one he was. But yeah, uh, it's like a bunch of different s swappable people. But uh, yeah, Dragon Quest, like the Luminary and everything, like that's really exciting. A lot of people were expecting it or were hoping for it. Um, there may have been a leak, but I don't listen to those, so I don't know. But um, I love Dragon Quest. Uh, it was really good to hear the Dragon Quest music in the game, and I can't wait to have two tracks just like Final Fantasy VII. Uh, but it's... Uh, it's exciting stuff. I, I love Dragon Quest, and it was like the most requested character in Japan. A lot of people are like, what the heck is a Dragon Quest? It's it's like the third most selling franchise. It's like Pokemon, Final Fantasy, um, Dragon Quest. <laughs> At least RPG-wise, I don't know entirely, but like, it's, it's popular, and I'm sorry you haven't heard of it. <laughs> it's really good, and I grew up with it, and I'm really happy. Um, so yeah, uh, I can't wait. That's coming out in the summer. Uh, they also talked about Dragon Quest XI S, which is like the Switch version, and it has like that 16-bit mode that the other ones have. It's really, really fun looking. Uh, it shows more Luigi's Mansion 3, which I am cautiously optimistic about. I know I said before, it looks cool. It does look cool. Um, it just... I feel that Dark Moon, or whatever the second game is called, took the soul with a vacuum, took the soul out of the video game. And they need to try to get it back. And it looks like they're trying because they reintroduced some mechanics that they took out from the first game. But the ghosts are still amorphous blobs. I'm hoping that, like, the important ghosts are more substantial. Because, like, in the second game, all the ghosts were those stupid amorphous blobs except for, like, the boss bosses. Um, but, like, in the first game, you get the portrait ghosts, and they all have, like, their own shtick and their own feel to them. Um, and that's, the second game was just, like, way too much looking around for, for items and backtracking through empty, musicless areas. So I just hope, like, at least put the music back in the game, please. But anyway, um, I'm gonna, like, go off on a tangent on why I'm disappointed with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh... Why do you think there hasn't been a Let's Play of it? Uh, let's see, Dark Crystal, uh, which is uh, Age of Resistance, or whatever it's called, uh, which is getting like a Netflix series, is also getting a tactics game uh, on the Switch. Link's Awakening uh, remaster, whatever it is called, is coming out on September 20th, which is really exciting. They're getting some really nice pre-order, uh, really nice deluxe editions in Europe. Like, like a Game Boy Steel case and a like, big art book and GameStop is just like, booklet. It's not funny. It's not good. I don't know. It's, this is like the Hyrule Warriors scarf all over again. It's not good. At least this time it's not region locked, so I can technically import it. I, I don't think I need to do that. It's a lot of money. Um, Seiken Densetsu 3 is getting a rem remaster, like a 3D remaster. But they also, on that day, released a collection of Secrets of Mana 1, 2, and 3. And this is the first time Secret of Mana 3, Seiken and Setsu 3, which is just called Trials of Mana, maybe, um, ever got released in the West. It was only ever, like, um, fan translated. So, like, that's really cool by Square to actually do that. And, like realize that <laughs> there's some people saying like um the devs were like uh when when they uh decide to do that they checked online and saw that people wanted it they didn't know this before no one had ever told them so this is the important reason why you should like keep trying to talk to the devs because they sometimes don't look at the internet uh let's see the witcher 3 is coming which actually looks really nice on the switch um, Fire Emblem, uh, Three Houses coming on July 26th, that looks really nice. Um, Resident Evil Collection is coming, they had a weird commercial for that in the direct, it's coming in the fall. 
Uh, no More Heroes 3 was, I think it was announced or teased a while ago, but they showed like an actual trailer for it. I was like watching it, like what the heck is going on? Oh, this is No More Heroes, isn't it? Uh, some people are really excited about that. Uh, Contra and um, like an anniversary collection of like Konami games. It's apparently the year of anniversary collections is what I'm trying to, what I'm getting at over here. We got, got the Mana games, we got the... The Resident Evil games, they got the the, the Konami games here. Uh, the show update in Ex Machina, which looks okay. Um, Panzer Dragoon is coming out on Switch, which, like, that's a that's an old game. That's a PlayStation One game, I think. A lot of people were excited and surprised by that. That's just I have never played it, but it's a, like a name I hear a lot with people. Like, man, I wish I wish I, more people played Panzer Dragoon. So apparently, it's a good thing. Um, Pokemon uh, talked about Sword and Shield a little bit. They showed off the water gym with uh, Nessa, who looks amazingly adorable. Um, and uh, we'll talk about the controversy with that. We're not going to talk about it, actually, but I'll mention it for the sake of people that want to hear it, I guess. Um, Astral Train is uh, Astral Train, Astral Chain, the, the Platinum game, is coming out on uh, October. August 30th, so that would be cool. Uh, they showed off the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 thing. I think that's what it's called. Uh, looks pretty neat. Uh, Kittens of Hyrule, they showed off a bunch, and they're like, oh, by the way, it comes out in two days. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I played it, I got it, we talked about it earlier. <laughs> um, another Mario and Sonic game, so that's neat. Uh, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing got delayed. Oh no. Animal Crossing got delayed until March 20th, which um, puts it like right next to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Also, by the way, Final Fantasy VII Remake is only going to, like this this episode, There, we knew years ago that it was going to be episodic. This episode is only going to cover until the end of the Escape from Midgar, which I considered, if you watch my videos, I consider it to be the prologue of the game. Um, even though it's several hours in game, more than several hours in game, it's it's a hefty chunk of time. But like, it's its own self-contained story. And then once you leave Midgar, like the whole world opens up. And I have a whole uh, doctoral thesis on how amazing that was for the video game that I talked about at the time. But some people are probably upset that. It doesn't cover more than that, but uh, they had to cut a lot of content from the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, just from my research of the game. I don't know if you know, I, I like Final Fantasy VII just a little bit. They had to cut a lot of content from Final Fantasy VII's opening. Which means now they'll have time to actually flesh it out. And flesh out some of the characters and go into like side stories and stuff like they said that they're gonna be like covering a whole load of other like things and I'm just excited for that because that means that the remake isn't them just like taking the game and converting it into 3d they're like they're taking the game and they're exploring it and expanding on upon it and uh, that's just exciting that's exciting for me as like a super fan of the game who's like really into like the lore and the side games and everything um, and I'm perfectly okay with, like, spending time, a lot of time in Midgar getting to know the world there, because there's already a lot going on, what, like, by the time you start the game, there's already been years of history in, like, the game's lore, uh, and, you know, from that point, from them to work on the next part, which is, you know, you actually being out and, you know, working, uh, at, like, cutting the game into pieces from there... Perfectly fine with that. Absolutely perfectly fine with that. Um, yeah, so Animal Crossing got delayed until March 20th. Um, because they wanted to give the developers more time to, to work on it. Which is awesome, because like the big theme of this year so far has been horrible crunch times for companies. So the fact that Nintendo is like, we're not doing that, is nice. The investors didn't think so. Nintendo lost like a billion dollars worth of... Uh, stock value after they said the Animal Crossing would be delayed, but investors are stupid people. And pretty much everyone I've seen has said that this is a good move. It means we'll have to wait, which sucks, but that's life. 
Um, and they finished off the direct, showing off one last Smash Bros. teaser. Uh, and it was in the same thing as when they announced King K. Rule, where like Donkey and Diddy are sleeping there, and then there's like a sound outside, and they look out, and it looks like it's K. Rule, and then it's just DDD, and he's like, it's just me, and then K. Rule comes at this guy and murders King DDD. Uh, so it's the same thing, they like, there's a puzzle piece that comes by, and then they're like, K. Rule's there also, like K. Rule, Donkey, and Diddy are sleeping there, so the puzzle piece goes by, and everyone like goes to the window, and you just see this like, banjo kazooie shaped thing and then it's duck hunt dog and he's just like <laughs> you know it's like this stupid laugh that he has and then banjo kazooie comes out of the sky and kills him um but yeah banjo kazooie ah so at the beginning of the direct we had like the most requested japanese character at the end of the direct we had the most requested america like western character so it's like perfect absolutely perfect i'm very excited and i talked about this a long time ago but uh, Microsoft, when Microsoft announced that Xbox Live was coming to the Switch, uh, I predicted that we were going to get Banjo-Kazooie now, like, that it was a confirmation, because, like, Nintendo and Microsoft are now, they're not, like, buddy-buddy, but they're now, like, cooperating, which means that they're going to be mixing licenses, they're going to allow cross-play on things, it's like a whole bunch of, you know, good business practices for the industry, but one of those things that I was pretty sure of was that we are going to get Banjo-Kazooie, and, uh, or Minecraft, Steve. But, uh, yeah, Benji Kazooie seemed like the more logical choice, because I still don't know how they implement Minecraft, Steve, in the game. He'd be like, he'd probably be more like Villager, which would be weird. Um, but, yeah, I'm very excited for that. And finally, just to talk about the Pokemon thing, first and foremost, I'm not here to, <laughs> to say one way or the other, because, honestly, people have done better arguments than me. The only thing that I'm going to comment on it, and uh, people are still going to get mad at me because that's the way the internet is, I'm very, um, not disturbed, but just discomforted by how hateful people are getting in how they're discussing the lack of a full national dex. Um, again, it's like, it's perfectly fine if you want the full decks, and it's perfectly fine if you want to tell Nintendo or Game Freak or whomever is actually in charge, Pokemon Company, that you want the national decks. Um, but there's been a lot of, like, infighting in the Pokemon community, and it's really... It's disturbing to see. I'm gonna say disturbing. It's disturbing to see how people are going from, like, arguing or discussing to yelling at each other and to like, essentially, like, ref resorting to ad hominem attack, like, like, attacking the, the people as opposed to their opinions, um, and it's, that's not what I expect from people, and, you know, maybe it's just because I don't normally, uh, expose myself to the Pokemon community, I have no idea how toxic it is normally, because I usually just stay out of the discourse in general for these things, but, like, Last week, Twitter was and, and Discord uh, was just all hate, and it it makes me sick inside to see that because it's just a lot of. That's not what Pokemon should be about. That's not what video games should be about, and that's really not what we should be about. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to shame specific people. I, I'm just. It's it was all over the place. Like I, I just I had to get off the internet to escape it. It was just really it, it was bad. Um so just like it's important to voice your opinion and I don't think that people shouldn't be upset. But uh don't attack the people who want the Pokedex. Don't attack the people who don't want the Pokedex. Let's try to, I don't know, there's a better way. There's, there's got to be a better way. Because um, you're just ruining, you're ruining, like, what the importance of the, the game is. You know? It's supposed to be, like, a fun thing. Pokemon's, like, about bringing people together and stuff. Video games are about that, in my opinion, anyway. So, I don't know. 
temper yourselves is what I'm saying. But again, I'm not talking to specific people because I'm really not. I'm talking to the internet. I don't I don't enjoy seeing vitriol and hate spewed that much. And it's uh it actually does make me sick inside, but maybe maybe it's just because I'm I'm not uh I, it's not important enough to me. So I can't say that it's a problem with the people, it might just be a problem with myself. But um just my observations. It it got really bad and I, it was like surprisingly disturbingly bad to see how fast and how hard the community attacked itself um that's just not what I'm about you know I like I like e3 because e3 is generally a um, a time where people just get like hyped about games but not like you know just it was completely and utterly destroyed like the just all of the the momentum of the hype was was destroyed by this and it makes me sad it makes me a little sad as I, I feel like people need the hype um, just as a, a way to I don't know further their their own happiness or something I don't know it's 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 rambling at this point um, if you get it you get it if you don't it's understandable um, I Again, I don't want to, like... I've read all of the... Everything about people's reasons why or why not. It's not... That's not my purpose is not to start a conversation about that here. Because, personally, I'm I'm sick and tired of, of like, reading it. And, again, people are going to be like, Well, it doesn't matter if you're sick and tired of it, Dovey. It's still a problem. And that's awesome. Except I'm... I've already... <laughs> I'm not the one that can change... That, that can do this. You can talk to the talk to the people in charge okay like please don't attack me over this I really I'm just I I'm going to like if if people do come after me over this I, I am going to just like nope out of it and so I, I can I can have a conversation I can't have a fight over Pokemon um, but yeah some people can, and that's all. Uh, that's awesome for them. Like if if that's if that's like their passion, cool. Um, that's not my passion though. But anyway, I'm very hyped for Final Fantasy. I'm very hyped for Zelda. <laughs> I'm very hyped for Smash Bros. stuff. And um, at the very end of the trailer, if you're still here after me talking about. <laughs> The the controversies. The very end, they gave a teaser for Breath of the Wild 2. And that's what we should be hyped about. We should be hyped about dehydrated Ganondorf. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Short-haired Zelda and dehydrated Ganondorf are my life right now. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Level 4. Be kind to each other, please. It's not easy. Especially with the people that are just being really difficult, it's not easy, but just try your best anyway. Because at the end of the day, it's not the video games, it's the people. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next week.